Well, since it's about 86 degrees out, hot as can be, the fuselage is sitting out in the sun, why I decided to hide inside. And what I'm doing is I'm going to do a new flap lever for the 701. The flap stops that they put in or the bracketry that they put in and the, the uh, control level lever are a little bit crude to my to my liking and I think we can come up with something a little bit better. It's been done before. But I was just going to kind of walk you through my rendition of it and how I'm going to do it. And this is always subject to change. You know, I may make changes along the way. But um, I'm just doing a few little quick layouts and some calculations and I'll draw it out and see if I can come up with something that I think is going to work well. What I started off with was, and I've already laid this out, this would be the floor and this would be the seat front. Um, in the 701 and of course there's a lightning hole in here someplace and the original bracket came up like this let's see we can do a we could actually do a layout of that and that bracket it's made out of 63 thousandths which i didn't remember it being that heavy i'm kind of surprised at that but when i do the drawings for the new one we're going to change that thickness a little bit i think the way i'm going to lay it out it won't need to be quite that thick um, this lever is That's just a rough sketch of it. And the only reason I really wanted these dimensions, your flap rod, of course, comes up through here like this and extends through there and you move it forward and back with just two positions. I think they put some, um, put more positions on some of the earlier, earlier, I think it was the earlier ones, they gave you more of a choice. But the way that works out, it only needs, or they only show about an inch and a quarter of travel is all you really need for travel on it. So the way it's going to lay out, this is going to be the space that you have. It has to be above there for your rod to clear. And it will still go up to there to clear. At least at some angle, and it'll clear the seat bottom along there. But if we mount this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a mounting bracket that will be in an arc, have the lever on top with a with a plunger. So the bracket that we want to come out with, if this is our floor along here and this is our seat front, is our um, rod will come through here, up here someplace, connect to a pivot, and we will have a arc. Actually, that'll be the connection point and our flap lever will come up, we'll have a pivot point here, and as it rotates through, and of course this is all angles wrong, but if this is a pivot here, and then we can make it with um, detents. evenly spaced along there and have either three or four positions um, our tube coming down through so as it pivots on this arm it'll move it forward and back this will be a detent point and we'll have a detent pin that comes through the side here and probably slot the rod down here so that we can we can push a button on the top when we push that button down it'll push on this rod push it down to release it will spring load it with a spring on the bottom to keep pressure up and keep it in position. 
So that's about how it'll be. Um, of course, it'll be a. This will be the opening here. And do something to as it pivots through to, to lock it in position. This will all be mounting support. And I think we'll do a left and a right side, whereas this panel comes down and has a dog leg out to the left. So this would be your outboard side. There'll be a there's a flange that runs along here and that's riveted through the floor. I think we'll do two of those and have the other side angle off to the right so that we've got them that way. So that's the way we'll start it off. And um, the only thing I really needed from here was to know how much travel we had, which works out to be inch and a quarter. So that flap handle moves from this position up over and drops into the next position. That's all the uh, movement that Zenith has built into those into that design. Where it's going to pivot, this will still be our the rod will still come through at this point right here. So for all intents and purposes, this will be our actuating rod right here. Um, or the, um, the control lever. And it needs to have a travel of at least inch and a quarter. We'll probably add a little more than that. And there again, we may redesign it later, depending on how the flaps lay out and everything. I haven't tried to compute that at all yet. So if this is a pivot point, or this is the mounting point right here, we'll say in the center of that lever, it has to have an inch and a quarter of actual movement. So let's, let's just for the sake of argument, let's give it two inches of travel. There again, I'm not sure if that's going to be right or not, but let's set it up with two inches of travel and we'll see what that gives us. So if we let's get a, get a blue Sharpie. So we've got a little contrast on what we're actually doing. So if we have it go to two inches, it has to go to that point um, just to make it we want it to come to that point no matter what the arc is so the travel will actually be a little bit more of that because it will be traveling in an arc and what will probably happen is this is actually where the positioning will start so if we extend our flap control lever out here like this and this is the pivot and we have another we've got this much space to travel in which works out being 200 millimeters so if we have this come up to let's say 150 will be the top of that arc triangle I'm actually mistaken if we do we may very well want this to be our first point and the end point to be clear back here because we've got a um, flanged lightning hole in here. So if we position it approximately where it was to start with, then our flap lever will go straight up here. And the 
else we'll have our little button on top and we can have our final position here so when it's pivoted forward have a 45 degree square here someplace. So if we have it come to there, then this would approximately be our pivot point. And when we were done, our control lever would be very similar to that That would be our travel, depending on position. If that's the way it's positioned, then we probably can do something very similar to that. with a detent running here, a detent running here for a second position, and a detent running here. So we would actually have a detent pin in a slot. This will be a slot in the pipe. We'll have a slot in the pipe there with a rod that comes down See, that rod will actually come all the way down like that, and it'll have a pin through that, a clearance cut out in the handle itself, and then a spring on the bottom of it, and whether there's a some sort of a detent pin or washer through the bottom of the rod there to for the spring to press against that will hold spring tension actually that will hold spring tension all the way up against the against the pivot pin so in operation you push down the button move it to whatever slot you find appropriate for whatever flap angle you want and lock it in place and it will lock it will follow through that arc um, except this flap control will not be here. This will actually, as it travels in an arc, will actually travel this way. Will be the way this, this pivot pin travels. And then I think to lay it out, I'll build two of these and we'll do whether we Probably run, oh, I don't know, we might angle it like that and go ahead and contour it in just so we've got a nice transition. It probably doesn't need to be this big um, since we're using two pieces and then we can take and rivet both sides through the floor. So we'll have a row of rivets on this side, a row of rivets on the mirror, on the, a mirror image on the other side. And then um, this cutout would be radius on the edge for whatever just however long that arc is going to be for whatever flat positions we have. And then um, 
but then once we've got it riveted to both sides we can also bolt the two halves together with with spacers we'd want to run spacers in between that goes all the way through with a probably a bolt and a spacer in between them to hold a position and do however many is appropriate they could be placed to act as stops for the flap lever themselves on the top um, which would give it some rigidity and then do probably one down here and if those were built out of probably 40 thousandths that the heavy a 32 might be strong enough we'll have to we'll lay it out and do some prototypes but anyway this is the first part of the process i thought you might find it interesting uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions please leave them below um, hope you enjoy this we'll move on with this i'll refine these drawings a little bit and and uh, at least give some still shots as we go along i'll probably as I lay it out, why we'll do another little video and explain it and everything through prototype and, and manufacture of it. So anyway, that's where we're at tonight. Hope that helps you. Thanks for taking the time to watch.